app that shows a live preview of what your camera can see and lets you drag your finger around to change saturation and brightness. And it actually uses OpenGL to do that part. Here's what the app looks like from the front. So it shows the camera and then when you go down it changes brightness, up it gets brighter, left and right is saturation. Cool, huh? In this lesson you're going to learn how to use the React Native camera how to put WebGL into React Native for GPU accelerated stuff and how to detect gestures on arbitrary inputs or on arbitrary elements. I'm experimenting with shorter videos so this one's going to be more of a walkthrough. If you want to know more details about how everything works you should read the article. The first stage is an app that can show camera preview. We're using Loch One's Bro, I don't know how to pronounce that, we're using his React Native camera plugin to basically get a camera component that lets us show whatever the camera, the phone camera is seeing. We're also doing on layout to get the width and height of our screen because we're going to need that for the OpenGL stuff because for some reason it can't do flex, it needs to be static. We define a screen, render a camera and that's pretty much it. We have a camera preview. Thank you Loch and other contributors for making that so easy. The next step is rendering a saturation example from GL React. We have a turtle and if we change contrast, the turtle re-renders and becomes more contrasty. So the way this works is it uses uh, GRE's GL React port or rewrite from some other repository, you have to make sure that you're using the alpha version when you install this stuff because the old version doesn't work very well. You have to use the new rewrite. The idea behind GL React is that it gives us WebGL components inside React so that we can do stuff like this. Uh, my computer is kind of slow right now because of the recording but normally when you move these sliders the turtle changes fairly fairly well because all of this are all run on your graphics processor. The way it works in React Native or really on any renderer is that you need a surface component where it's essentially like a canvas. I don't know exactly what it uses on React Native but it still runs on the GPU. Then you have a OpenGL or WebGL enabled component. That component is essentially just a node and you can compose these nodes and do a bunch of interesting stuff with them but the real magic comes from this uh, WebGL shader code that honestly I don't understand at all. So I just copied it from the example and there are actually a lot of very good examples for you to still code from. The next step is to live update the rendered image from whatever the camera is seeing. The way we're doing this is that we're running a timer every 5 milliseconds and then capturing the camera with a relatively low JPEG quality because that keeps it from crashing for longer. Say we save that image to a path, crash, uh, we save that image to a path, trigger a re-render with a state update and, and feed in a new image URL which is a local path to the saturate component. Now I know this crashes and I know, and I know it's terrible to take photos every five, se five milliseconds but this is a proof of concept right? I couldn't figure out how to actually stream directly from the camera into the WebGL component and I wish I could. If any of you know how to do that please tell me. The last step is detecting drag gestures using the pen responder from Facebook. We add it as a bunch of params on, on the screen component and initialize it in component will mount. I don't know exactly how it works behind the scenes but the API we use isn't that difficult I think. We start our gesture recognition in on pen respond, responder grant, we take the width and height and define some linear scales. We're using D3 scales and I'll explain in the article how they actually work. Basically they help us with the math so that we know how much we've dragged up and down so that we can change the brightness and saturation. So we define the scales that we're going to use for the mathematics. Then in on, re on pen responder move we take the delta x and delta y and add it to our saturation and brightness. 
because we're using set state that triggers a re-render and we can see everything changing when we move our finger around. Um, that's, that's basically it. That's how you build a simple live preview Instagram app. Thank you.